Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV, I'm Brett, we're doing an unboxing. This one is the Batman Ascending Knight Mezco exclusive, the latest release for Mezco's 112 Collective. Um, I mean, for those who haven't seen, the 112 Collective figures tend to be top-notch, great 12-inch figures that capture the subjects really, really well. They've been doing Marvel, DC, and some other properties, and we're getting some of the big hitters here. Like this Batman is an example of that. Some really nice packaging, as with a lot of the previews. It's a different box than the normal releases, which I always think is pretty interesting. Uh, it's a bit smaller of a box, so let's open up and show off what's inside. Uh, now, we have seen a Batman figure already, so it'll be very interesting to see how this one Holds up. Uh, now in there, of course, we've got uh, a lot of goodies. Some batarangs, some grappling hooks, um, alternative uh, scheme for the body, and of course, a head as well. You can see the bases of the figure. Popped off, so we get a base of the figure here. And various stands and items for you to do cool poses with the figure itself. But what we really care about is Batman. So let's get him out and show off this version of Batman. Uh, so the last one was pretty solid. Um, I had some questions on the coloring of the suit. It's pretty much the same figure. It's just going to be a different coloring and variant of it. Um, the previous one was black with some gray. This one is all black. Um, so it looks like the same figure though, so let's stand it up and do our first test that I always like to do. Quick standing test, and the figure passes with ease. Alright, after that, let's do our normal movement. Um, the left foot's a little loose, the right's a little bit tighter, but we get the normal movement that we'd expect with it. Uh, as far as upper leg, it doesn't seem to be anything in particular about that when it comes to movement. Let's go with the knees and the hip are exactly what you'd expect. Figures seem to have much more bend at the waist now. Uh, some of the figures are clearly using a different sculpt than normal. Uh, because of that, let's go to the arms. Movement as we expect, we get the elbow, and finally, the hands and the wrist is normal movement, and we will end it with the head, which has pretty good movement. So as far as movement for the figure, it's exactly what we'd expect. It's what the previous figure had, uh, nothing too surprising there. Uh, the thing that does surprise me a little bit is the foot is a little loose, which we know we've seen this few times with other figures and the head is actually kind of stiff which I think is fascinating. Uh, let's go with the design of the figure. Same style as before as far as the details. Start with the boots. I think really solid detail. Uh, we get the tread on the bottom. We get laces up there. Obviously the big difference between this and the previous one is this is all black. There is no gray elements. Um, we have get this design on the suit itself uh, with these patterns. Which I'm still a little mixed on. I thought it would look better in the black. It definitely does, but I don't know. I think still something slightly off. Uh, the gauntlets have two spikes on them. Uh, and then the wrist, interesting enough, the top of the knuckles are slightly gray. They're not completely black, which I think is actually an interesting choice. As far as the cape, the cape is sweeping. Um, you know, this is supposed to evoke a much earlier version of Batman, which it does. I mean, this is old school Batman, uh, like he appeared when he kind of first came uh, onto the scene in the 70s, or sorry, in the 30s. Um, so it's supposed to be that much older version of him. And, you know, I think it works like him a lot like it. It just works. It's a really good version. Uh, you can do some pretty cool cinematic stuff with him, which I think will be uh, interesting. As far as designs, the cowl, uh, the cape goes directly into the cowl. Um, and the cowl itself looks really good. Uh, you know, one thing I might would have liked to see, at least on one of the versions that are coming out, is a cowl that comes off, um, as is the cowl is going to be there no matter what. Um, see if we can easily get the head out. Alternate head out. We're gonna see if 
see what that looks like on this figure. So I think that might be my one knock. Eh, it actually looks pretty good. Uh, you know, that is a decent depiction of Bruce Wayne. Uh, pretty solid. Again, I would have maybe liked uh, somehow a version where the, the cowl actually comes off, the hood comes off completely. I think it would look a lot better. As far as extras, it looks like this pretty much has all the same extras as the previous versions. It's got the weird giant this thing. Um, a whole bunch of batarangs, some grappling hooks, a grappling gun, uh, and kind of like a wrist grappling hook, and a bunch of different hands. So really what you're getting here is the alternate paint scheme and color scheme for the, the figure itself. Um, you know, the, the details are decent. Like, the belt's really, really heavy detailed and kind of cool. I think the belt honestly might be a little... It just feels like it's a little bit too big for the figure. But you can put some items on there, which is nice, and carry it around. Um, overall, like... It's a solid Batman figure. It definitely evokes the original design of the character. Um, you know, we're going to see what future ones look like. This one, like, it's one of their... It's a good figure. It's not a great figure. I think there's, there's much worse figures out there uh, in the 112 line, but there's also much better figures out there in the 112 line. Uh, the one thing I think is, is great is the cape is huge. You're going to be able to do some really cool cinematic stuff with it uh, if you are into photographing your 112 figures. But overall, like, not bad, not great. Uh, as, an, as an exclusive, uh, I think it's a, like a lot of the exclusives. They tend to be hit and miss. Um, this one I'll put more towards the miss end of things. Uh, but yeah, I think it's better than the original that came out. Uh, this black variant, I do like the black, all black instead of the gray elements. Uh, but still, you know, something just isn't quite working for the figure overall. Uh, not bad, but again, not great. Uh, this is an exclusive. It's going to be hard to get. We're going to go see if we can find some figures, uh, some links for you so you can get it. They might be affiliate links, but, you know, we'll put up a notice in the post if there is any around the video. Uh, but overall, like, it's it's kind of an eh figure for me. Um, I, you know, you can go to my other video of the other video of the other figure of this. It's not bad. It's not great. It's it's decent. Um, I, I definitely think it's better, but it's still not a great figure. I do dig, I know uh, we've got some comments that said uh, they weren't fans of the cape itself. I do dig the cape. Uh, I do like the giant cape on the figure. Uh, as I said, it evokes an earlier version of the character. So, yeah. Uh, other, other than that, yeah. And there's just way better in the line, I think, overall. A little disappointing. we got a whole bunch of other versions of Batman coming out in the future, though. So it should be really interesting to see how the figure overall evolves uh, in time, which is what they're going to be doing with all this. Uh, now, if you're into 112 Collective you, or Mezco, you should check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. Of course, we have tons of unboxings and reviews right here on YouTube. Uh, as always, thank you for watching. Until next time, keep playing with your figures and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.